Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will talk about correlation using matrix method. Okay. So the question will come like perform correlation of the sequences. Which type of correlation? Cross correlation. Okay. So x of n is given as one comma one comma two comma two. This is what n is equal to zero, right? Because zero is there. And y of n is given as one comma zero point five comma one. So this is what n is equal to zero. So two sequences are given x of n and y of n. You have to find out the correlation. Which type of correlation? Cross correlation between x of n and y of n using matrix method. So we have already calculated the initial value of m, final value of m. in the last lectures right so let's do that part fast okay so x of n if you see x of n so x of n starts at n is equal to 0 right and has 1 2 3 4 samples so you can say that what you can say here in this particular case you can say that the value of n1 is equal to 0 And capital N one is equal to what four? Okay. Similarly, this Y of n starts at n is equal to zero and has three samples. So from here we can say N two is equal to what zero and capital N two is equal to what three. Okay. This much is clear. So now. now if we talk about you know cross correlation which is r x y of m so this will have how many samples boss what is the formula n1 plus n2 minus 1 right so 4 plus 3 minus 1 which is what 6 so it will have 6 samples so we got to know okay the result should contain 6 samples but what will be the initial value of m and what will be the final value of m so initial value of m which is basically represented as mi the formula is what n1 minus you know n2 plus capital n2 minus 1 so keep the value so 0 minus 0 plus you know 3 minus 1 so overall minus 2 so the initial value will be minus 2 okay and what will be the final value of m so mf so that will be mi plus capital n1 plus capital n2 minus 2 so it will be equal to what minus 2 plus 4 plus 3 minus 2 right so if you solve this so overall you will get what 3 so we, we know initial value of m also we know final value of m also right and we know how many samples this rxy of m will contain so six samples so we have to perform the cross correlation using matrix method so one more, more point you should be aware so basically you know the convolution of x of n okay and y of minus n will give you basically you know rx y of m so so if you do the convolution of x of n and y of minus n you will get the cross correlation rx y of m hope this much is clear to you so y of n is given as this so what will be the value of y of minus n so it will be 1 comma 0.5 comma 1 right here it will be n is equal to 0 and we have to do the convolution linear convolution using matrix method here so let's start so what you have to do here so x of n is arranged as a column so arrange x of n as a column so this is x of n and the values i have arranged as a column and y of minus n is arranged as a row 
so here i am arranging y of minus n as a row so 10.51 and x of n as a column clear this much is clear to you fine so to fill up the matrix array multiply each element of the column with the corresponding element of the row so 1 into 1 1 here 1 into 0.5 0.5 and 1 into 1 1 again right similarly for this it will give you 1 0.5 and 1 here 2 is there so 2 into 1 2 2 into 0.5 1 2 into 1 2 right similarly here 2 is there so again you will get same 2 1 and 2 hope this much is clear to you now what you have to do group the elements in the table by drawing diagonal lines so these are what the diagonal lines you have already drawn this much is clear now what you have to do you know some of the diagonal elements now some of this diagonal elements will give you the sample of the cross correlation sequence rx y n of n right so we know it will start from minus 2 so basically rx y of minus 2 will be what only this element 1 so let's do this parallelly then it will be easy for you to understand give me a minute please okay okay so this two things you can see parallelly fine so this one only one element is there in this group so 1 so and starting is what from minus 2 you have to go till 3 So R X Y of minus two will be what one. Okay, now you have to calculate next. So R X Y of minus one. So one plus zero point five. So one plus zero point five. That will be equal to what basically one point five, right? Go for the next. So next will be R X Y of zero. So sum up this, right? Two. Plus zero point five plus one, so three point five, right? So this will be equal to what? Three point five. Now R X Y of one. So next, so two plus one plus one, two three four. So you will get here what? Four. Clear? How you have to achieve this? How you have to do this? So next is R X Y of two. So next group, so one plus two three, and next is two. So three and Two. That's all. That is what you have to do if if you have to find out the cross correlation of a sequence using matrix method. So then, overall, R X Y of M, which is nothing but a cross correlation between X of N and Y of N, is what one comma one point five comma three point five comma four comma three comma two. This is what at N is equal to zero. Basically, M is equal to zero. because we are representing in m term right so hope it is clear to you fine so this is our final output if you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 samples are there is starting is what from m is equal to minus 2 and ending is what m is equal to 3 so hope it is clear to you if you still have any doubt in this particular question you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching